you are looking at a live picture from a Virginia Tech sky cam. Looks like it may rain in Blacksburg, but uh, the showers are actually a little bit a ways away from Blacksburg as of now. Uh, let's head on over to the radar and we've got a few cells that we need to talk about. One in Franklin County, that one is weakened considerably, but still some lighter showers possible as that cell will, I think, be impacting Boone's Mill within about the next 20 minutes or so. As we head farther down across uh, parts of the New River Valley and also the Mountain Empire, this cell in Patrick County is uh, packing a little bit of a punch with dime size hail, wind gusts over 40 miles per hour should be impacting folks around Stewart and also Kreitz here within about the next maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Also some heavier rain situated in parts of Wythe County near rural retreat south into Independence in Grayson County right along Highway 58. Now our weather here is very quiet in comparison to what's going up around DC. I will say that this cell right here just got rid of a tornado warning. Now just a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for areas just to the east of Winchester uh, approaching Leesburg. Berryville is in uh, that little uh, severe thunderstorm warning box. And also we've got another severe thunderstorm warning that is fast approaching the I-95 corridor in between Washington DC and also Fredericksburg. So for us here it's quiet in comparison to what's going on in areas to our north. Severe thunderstorm watch box for parts of New York and Pennsylvania. Northern Virginia up north into northern New England is where we have the best chance for some strong to severe thunderstorms here over the next couple of hours or so. We also have a line of showers and thunderstorms across Tennessee south into parts of Georgia, Alabama and Mississippi. Those will fall apart tonight, but that little disturbance bringing these showers and thunderstorms to the south and to the west of us will move overhead for us tomorrow, and that will again bring us the chance for more passing thunder showers. So the highest severe weather the risk will likely be up into Pennsylvania, New York, and also into Maryland and Washington, D.C., but even a few of us here across the Commonwealth under a marginal risk for severe weather. That does include Richmond as far to the west as, say, South Boston and also Charlotte Courthouse. So for the day tomorrow, we're looking at highs in the lower 80s. Overall, tomorrow we will have that chance for some scattered thunder showers. Front crosses us late tomorrow afternoon. Thursday, high pressure rules a roost, and that means for us a mostly sunny day. Hour by hour, future tracker showing that any showers or thunder showers around will come to an end by 9, 10 o'clock, and then the rest of the night we're just partly cloudy. Wednesday will start out dry with skies partly sunny, and then after about 1 o'clock, we'll have some showers and thunderstorms across the NRV and Highlands. By around 6, 7 o'clock, those will exit to our east. So as we head into Wednesday night, skies will again clear and that will set the stage for a beautiful day on Thursday. As far as those rain chances are concerned, they're going to go up tomorrow, go down on Thursday, then they're on their way up again Friday, Saturday into Sunday. Looks like the weekend could be, unfortunately, uh, some of the wettest days that we see here over the next seven days with passing showers and thunderstorms. A good bet from Saturday afternoon through Sunday. It's 81 right now in Lynchburg, 80 Smith Mound Lake, 81 Martinsville, but it is 64 in Withville. It's cooler where it has rained. It's warmer where it hasn't. Overnight tonight, we're looking at lows around 60 under partly cloudy skies. And then for the day tomorrow, we're looking at that chance for some afternoon thunder showers. Lower 80s will be your high temperature with your 3 degree guarantee high on your hump day 82. Extended forecast showing temperatures in the lower 80s through Friday, middle 80s on Saturday, lower 80s Sunday. Then we fall into the 70s Monday and Tuesday. After what could be an unsettled weather weekend, I think by early next week, things will start to settle down with a little more sun.